All right, everyone, this is what we've been waiting for. If you haven't gotten a PlayStation 5, which I haven't, right? I mean, this is the time if you're looking to play the Spider-Man 2 game. This is absolutely funny in a way that I'm only buying this for this particular game because I feel like the PC has replaced console, right? Think about it this way. I was just playing play, uh, Final Fantasy 13, and, you know, I, I was playing all the trilogy, right? all three games and I played it on Steam because I don't have my PlayStation 3 anymore and here's the problem I maxed out everything I got the best things on my PlayStation 3 and there is no way for me to transfer that save file onto my PlayStation 4 is it actually there is no way for me to play the play Final Fantasy 13 on my PlayStation 4 so you know it's quite disappointing because when I played on Steam now I have to start everything all over again right? I have to grind everything run around it is kind of disappointing that way, and you know, sooner or later when PlayStation 9 comes out, right? I'm not gonna have my PlayStation 5 anymore because you know I'm gonna have my PlayStation 9, and if I wanted to play my Spider-Man 2 again, right? I'm gonna have to play the whole thing again. So PC is definitely getting better, opposed to the PlayStation, because the thing is, these consoles, right? Much of the games you can't even, you can't even play them again. Right, well, on PC, if the game is there, you bought it, you could always download it onto another PC, okay? But on consoles, right, it's really limited to that console. And, you know, we live in a society where we want to be mobile. So, I don't want to be carrying around a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 3 that just to play those PlayStation games. But anyways, so they have this PlayStation 5, the stunning new look. Uh, the symbiote, this is the black part, and it's heading towards the Spider-Man uh, symbol here. So you got this Venom or symbiote tendrils for Venom. The back is black. You have this little red spot. It's not that intriguing, honestly. But, you know, at least it's something unique, right? And, of course, you have the controller, which is pretty much the same thing. I haven't bought a PlayStation 5 because I just didn't feel like there was a game worthy of me buying a PlayStation 5, spending like a thousand bucks on it, until Spider-Man 2. And I think Spider-Man 2 is the only game I will buy for the PlayStation 5. We will see. But anyways, a lot of the games are coming out for the PC as well as the PlayStation or Xbox, which means that you can always buy it on PC, right? So, anyways, they have the face cover if you don't want to buy the bundle, and they have the controllers as sep sold separately, right? So, this is how it's going to work. If you want the bundle, which is what I'm going to buy, it's going to include the game. And I already pre-ordered the collector's edition. So, it's going to include an extra copy of the digital game. It's going to include the PlayStation 5. It's going to include the controller. That's what I want, right? Now, if you already have a PlayStation 5, you can always go out and buy the faceplate I don't know how much they're gonna charge but I'm guessing you know being a limited edition thing I they're gonna probably charge like around 50 bucks I don't know 50 to 100 and these controllers are completely crazy because the thing is a regular controller a regular PlayStation 5 controller is the price of a game already it's like a hundred bucks and I I don't know I mean <laughs> I always have to update my controllers it's very very unfortunate that's why it goes back to PC being cheaper as well so anyways, these things are available for purchase on the 28th of July, which is in a few days. And I'm going to pre-order the Spider-Man bundle. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it because getting the collector's edition was hard already. So anyways, I just wanted to make a video and talk about this PlayStation 5 and how I didn't get it. And now I'm getting it for Spider-Man 2. And this is probably the best bundle. I wanted to get it during the play of the Final Fantasy 16 and then I realized that Final Fantasy 16 has I mean, well, Final Fantasy in general has been in downfall since the year 2000 right I mean since Final Fantasy 10 so you know I, I didn't want to and it was a normal bundle there wasn't any marking it was just a white PlayStation 5 and they wanted full price and everything I was like ah forget it we'll wait for the um Spider-Man one and also next year supposedly they're gonna they might release a PlayStation Slim and a uh, I mean, PlayStation 5 Slim and a PlayStation 5, 5 Pro, which means that if I buy it now, it's kind of disappointing. But anyways, it doesn't really matter. Think about it this way. I had a PlayStation, the original PlayStation 4, and I used it up until now, and it's been fine. I didn't need a PlayStation 4 Pro. I didn't need a PlayStation 4 Slim. It's, 
Like, it works, right? I mean, you can play it and everything. Everything's good. Now, if you want to upgrade, if you have extra money, which I don't, right? Then you can always upgrade. But I'm not upgrading. If once I get this, you know, I have the special limited edition, I'm keeping it forever.